Hello everybody, what's up? I'm pissed a lot uh, for a lot of different reasons, but um, let's just start with the obvious. I missed out on yesterday's um, community day, unfortunately for me. Yep, that's uh, hmm. they went back to using executes for the psychic ones. That's cool. Anyways, um, so I did actually mention a couple of days ago that I might not have even do the community day stuff, mostly because I wasn't. Hold on. I wasn't even sure if I'm going to um, um, be able to record any episodes this past weekend. Which ended up being exactly what happened, but not necessarily for the reasons I thought they would. Obviously, on Friday, my mom showed up with her dog and the dog trainer, and I was preoccupied all day with that. Then, we kind of went to, to have dinner, have dinner with my, uh, my over at my sister's place. And by the time we were done with that, I was too exhausted to do anything. Thing is, not tiny. On Friday, sorry, sorry, Thursday, Thursday night, I um, I basically had an all-nighter. I um, watched not one but two Schmodown matches back to back. Reacted to them, of course. And those took up a lot of time, and also. Uh, actually make, turning them into actual videos to upload to the channel then I noticed a couple of friends of mine right, right when I was preparing to go to sleep by the way a, fr a couple of friends of mine were, uh, from the Media Sweaties Network were doing Shooting the Breeze, the usual Thursday show which airs pretty late in my area but I noticed that they were doing a show and I just said a few things in the live chat I was participating in the, uh, in the conversation then something happened um, their guest was having some internet problems so uh, since I was already pretty active in the chat I was like hey do you want me to uh, jump in and, and help you finish up the episode I was half joking of course but I mean, it kind of looked a little bit serious for a minute there it looked like they weren't able to uh, get their guest back and uh, they weren't able to uh, finish the show properly so uh, obviously uh, that situation got remedied pretty quickly and uh, they, were, they were able to bring him back no problem But the offer was still on the table. They offered me to join in, and I just, uh, well, I said, well, why not? I jumped into the um, conversation, and uh, I helped them finish the show, the last, like, half hour of the show. Fortunately, this meant this carried over into, um, well, morning, my time. And uh, I was going to get some shot eye. For uh, for my mom got, got to my place with her dog, but uh, well, she decided to surprise me by arriving a bit early so we'd have more time to uh, have a morning coffee. And uh, well, I appreciated the gesture, but in hindsight, I did I certainly did not appreciate it back then because I barely got any semblance of sleep that day and uh, unfortunately I had to uh, carry on that all that tardiness from just not sleeping a whole day carried it in all the way into the next day now obviously um, For the, the first couple of hours didn't really bother me all, all that much 
where I really started to feel it was in the later hours of the day where um, um, I decided to falling asleep on my sister's couch when we went to visit her instead of you know actually being a good guest I ended up falling asleep on her couch well obviously they didn't blame me for anything you know, I was tired but still not a very nice thing to do but well they kept you know dozing off on and off all that night all the way until they finally got, brought me back home and finally came back home watched the finale of WandaVision and I was gonna review, review it but you know then I joined in on some SEN stuff and I just uh, fell asleep and I was too tired to do the uh, WandaVision review I was gonna go to sleep but wake up just in time to do the community day yesterday Oh, and by the way, I didn't actually go uh, to my mom's place like I thought I would do. Guess she changed her mind again last, last minute. But, uh, yeah. So, plan was to wake up at a reasonable hour early enough for the community day stuff. But, like, like I said, obviously that didn't happen. And, um, well... Missed out on the whole day yesterday and didn't have enough time. What is with this stupid thing? Seriously. It's a ratata. It's not supposed to be too difficult. How many Pokemon did I waste on this thing? <sighs> well, you can tell I'm a little, little bit about on edge right now. In any case, um, I missed out on the community day and, uh, Those things are back apparently. Hmm, a Grumpig! Now that's a fully evolved Pokemon in the wild. Anyways, um. Uh, where was I? So yeah, I missed out on the whole community day yesterday. Didn't have much time to even uh, begin to record an episode of this show yesterday. And didn't even want to. My spirit started to get a little bit picked up once I did uh, Get Sweaty, the usual uh, Saturday show. And I did it. I uh, joined in. Uh, I watched a few more Smodown uh, matches for more um, uh, reaction to the channel because, you know, gotta have that content. And the consistent content. But uh, yeah, then I also joined in a little bit on the Ultimate Smodown after show. Somehow, I'm not even sure how, but somehow I made it another night without sleeping. You know, sleeping has become a bit of an over overrated commodity for me lately. I don't do that as often as I probably should. Maybe that's a problem. Maybe. But, you know, that's a problem that I'm dealing with in my own personal way. Of course, I uh, can't go back to sleep now because I've got some stuff to do, hence why I'm out here instead of, you know, staying in, at home, more importantly, going to bed. But, um, yeah, got to do those stuff and uh, maybe catch a few hours of rest. I'm not even calling it sleep anymore. It's rest. Okay, since I've reached an area where there's less Pokemon, it's incense time. I mean, yeah, maybe I'll get some hours, a few hours of rest, and then um, later today I have another show, which is actually the first time I'm going to be on that show. I'm going to be on uh, Ben's Hot Takes, my good friend Ben Rayner, and uh, his show, Ben's Hot Takes. Where uh, he just uh, sits down and discusses some uh, some of the more relevant news for the week or the day, and uh, hopefully with a guest. That's something he's been trying to do for a while. Ooh. And there's the wind. But he finally got himself a guest. That guest is me, of course. 
and we're going to have a big spoiler discussion on WandaVision, the final finale of WandaVision. And did I mention I still haven't reviewed that uh, show for my ch uh, channel? Because of things? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I enjoy the YouTuber lifestyle as much as I can, but sometimes it gets a little too stressful and overwhelming not being able to do things the way I want to do. And, um, uh, well, it's really having an impact on my personal life. Sorry about that. Uh, I was giving some directions. In any, in any case, um, so yeah, like, like I started to say, it's starting to affect my, um, my personal life. Like, I can't, I can't meet my family. I can't have lunch with, I can't have a proper dinner as a guest with my sister I can't uh, properly uh, be with my mom when she comes to visit me or when she has lessons with the dog trainer I can't do a lot of stuff well, normally these things don't bother me but you know when when it gets to the stuff that I can't to the point where I can't be who I really want to be because I'm trying to maintain and balance out this double life. Um, yeah. It's almost like I'm starting to think I have to choose. And I don't want to have to choose. But, well, I think I've already vented about this subject more than enough. It's time to actually start this episode today and today I'm going to start off with all the stuff that I didn't get to because I was specifically saving them to do them all on camera hmm I need arena which is a middle stage evolution not a fully evolved Pokemon but still it worth it's worth more uh, stardust the average Pokemon, so I'm gonna try to catch it before it runs away on me. It was a valid effort. And now then, whoops. Since there are seemingly no new Pokemon in this area, at least not as often as they should be, with an incense, I figured it's enough it's it's a good enough time to go over some of the missions that, as I mentioned, I was specifically saving them for an episode next time I could record one and if the Solossus doesn't stay in the ball this time I'm just gonna give up on catching it and move on well it actually decided to play nice which is a fairy type move but never mind no sorry yeah it's a, it is it's a fairy type move anyways no way play nice is a normal type move play rough is fairy never mind okay I thought for a second that you're getting um, this was the day for the uh, award anyways this is something new something to kind of co compensate for the lack of for the uh, little bit of a glitch that they had during the po Pokemon tour Kanto event having all these tour Kanto event uh, specific bonus missions uh, I can't remember what I was supposed to do though I think it was gonna catch three Pokemon with a weather boost or something I don't know it was, it was a few days ago so it's natural that I don't remember anyways now I just need to use uh, five more berries to catch Pokemon which is something I can definitely do and uh, this is obviously the big one which was catch sorry finding all three of the gym Le of the uh, team go rocket leaders and beating all three of them which I'm now done and it's time to move on to the big guy Giovanni himself with the super rocket radar but first let's see what the professor wants before I cross the road great work you've been a huge help in our efforts to track down Giovanni I'm happy to report that the team that the team leaders and I have made significant headway in our investigation sorry I'm gonna have to take my sunglasses off because I can't see anything 
I've managed to finish building others, other super, another super rocket wheeler for you. Uh, you can use it to find and defeat Giovanni and save the legendary that legendary Pokemon. Well, that was a bit of a short one. <clears throat> but now, obviously, now that I have the Super Rocket Radar, this in no way, shape, or form means that my task is going to be any easier. First of all, I need to find Mr. Giovanni. And by finding him, I mean finding the real one and not a decoy, which is what he usually uses to sort of evade me. Then I'm going to have to find him, and more importantly, beat him. Now obviously this is going to be very difficult since considering I don't even know what Pokemon he's going to be using. Well then, um, well he's definitely around here somewhere. Maybe I should try to find him. Now I'm thinking of using um, Rhyperior for this one. And here's why. I have this sneaky suspicion that he's using one of the, um, the legendary birds. And if not, it's probably... Um, Either Ho-Oh or Lugia, with a strong uh, lean towards Ho-Oh, because apparently Pokemon Go really loves promoting Ho-Oh for a lot of different things. And uh, we'll see if it is one of the legendary birds. Uh, all three of them are weak to rock. Moltres is four times weak to rock. Same as Ho-Oh. But two of them are weak to electric, except for Zapdos, obviously, which is also electric. So, Rock is the only thing that's super effective on all three, on all five of them, as a matter of fact. Of course, there is always the, the possibility that it's Lugia, and so there's always the possibility that it uses water type moves, even though it's not a water type for some reason. It probably should be. Like, why is this thing psychic type? I mean, I, I get the flying type, but why is this thing psychic type? Like, I, it never, it never really sat well with me. Like, I can understand why, um, Palkia is water type, but I never, never understood why Lugia is not water type. You want to make a flying type? That's great. Why is it psychic type? It lives in the ocean. And it's the ocean protector. You find it inside a waterfall. Why is this thing not a water type? I don't know. Sometimes Game Freak makes crazy decisions with their Pokemon. Okay. This is probably a decoy. This is the first one. The first one is usually almost always a decoy. But this being a decoy in no way, shape, or form means that it's going to be an easy battle. Let's go in with our strongest ones, regardless. Of course, beating Giovanni now is probably... Okay, I stand corrected. Beating Giovanni now is probably going to be much easier than um, previous times. Because I'm now I'm much, much stronger. I Now I have legendary Pokemon on my team. Uh, multiples, as a matter of fact. And strong ones at that. I now have the option to Mega Evolve Pokemon. I have a lot of different things going in my favor. So beating Giovanni is definitely not going to be as much of a challenge as it was the last couple of times I've beaten him. I battled him. But, uh, I still don't want to overlook him because that's something that you really shouldn't do anyway since I'm already here might as well use this entrance to where I need to go but um, hold on. yeah first things first I gotta find him before I uh, 
have any plans of beating him. Which, maybe I'll do that today. I don't know. Finding him is only half the problem. I can't find him today, but battling him is going to be a completely different thing. And I can't hear, but I'm pretty sure the music is now different because I'm using the Super Rocket Radar. Give me a second. There are actually two more potential Giovannis nearby. Well, the problem is I'm going to have to cross the road for that one over there. Unless I stand in a really good spot to uh, fool the game into thinking that I'm actually standing over there. But uh, not sure I can do that from where I'm standing at the moment. Still, you know. Um, would be nice to find a Giovanni today. Maybe I'll do that once I'm out of... Once I'm done with the business I needed to do today, but this episode has already gone on long enough, so I think I should just um, cut it short here and uh, do what I need to do, and then maybe hopefully do a second part of this episode where I'm going out to try and find Giovanni. Anyways, thank, thank you for um, thank you for watching so far. Thank you for. Uh, listening to my early rants where I just I really needed to vent uh, everything that happened in the last couple of days that's part of the reason why I still do is do this show it's because it's a great way for me to um, unpack everything that's going on with me emotionally so, uh, and if you listen to all that I apologize and I'm also grateful for that but, well time to get back to reality I suppose I'll see you guys later and possibly tomorrow. Goodbye for now. You know, there's something that I completely forgot about and didn't even take into account earlier in this episode. And that is these balloons, these Team Go Rocket balloons, which actually have Giovanni in them. Crazy, right? Yeah, I completely forgot that Giovanni can appear in balloon form. So yeah, I encountered him off camera uh, just a couple of minutes ago. Yeah, but so I already skipped his uh, intro dialogue. But <clears throat> sorry, but let's battle him now. If and I'm not gonna play to win, I'm just gonna uh, figure out what his team is. Okay battle uh, it looks like a solid team you got steel and psychic type with two steel type moves you got a steel ground type two steel types not a good matchup he might have a good fire or ground type or uh, yeah ground type uh, but uh, yeah excadrill has ground and rock moves to battle against potentially um, uh, fire types and you also have a, f a water flying with Gyarados that has Dragon Breath as well as Hydro Pump and Bite alright now let's see well first of all obviously he's going to open up with his Persian which could mean bad news for us if he has yeah he's got Fury Swipes which doesn't do much but I mean he's doing it so fast it might as well do a lot Fortunately for me, he's not using like Bite or any other type or snarl or any other dark type move Which uh, would have been super effective on um, um, Metagross Now Excadrill has got it where it counts in the attack Unfortunately, it's not a very defensive Pokemon for a, a steel type. I believe it's the least defensive steel type in the entire series okay a fire jam which would have been four times resistant but you can't take any chances with Giovanni okay moving on to this middle type the middle one's gonna be the hardest one okay a Kangaskhan 
with a fighting type move which means we need to be very strategic about this okay so first off got through his second shield now we just gotta do some damage just gotta do enough damage wow we basically do nothing Kangaskhan is a very defensive Pokemon unfortunately for me well it goes down now um let's see i think yeah i got one more shield i think i can take out his kangaskhan pretty easily i just want to oh and it's an earthquake it's, it's great for me i just want to see what his last pokemon is now obviously he's not going to be able to shield flying ice type is probably articuno yeah, it's an Articuno, which is neutral on Gyarados because of the water flying type. Okay, let's go for Hydro Pump. Ah! Okay. I mean, like I said, I wasn't planning on beating him, at least not now. We need to be a little bit more prepared uh, for a fight like this. So, here is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna change up my team just a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna put my regular Metagross here for his Persian. Hold on. Um, First things first, let's heal up anyone who might need to be healed up. Most importantly, Machamp and Rhyperior. Okay. Now, gonna go with my stronger Metagross, Machamp and Rhyperior for the Articuno. Alright. Machamp is also gonna be very useful because it has, a, has two fighting type moves. And one of them is really fastly charging, so it's going to be very useful taking down um, the Kangaskhan. Now, with the higher CP, I'm hoping at least that this Metagross is going to survive longer. Doesn't seem to be happening though. This, book, this Metagross has higher CP, but w lower IVs. And the other one. And I'm pretty sure it's charge attack charges a lot slower. Okay. Is it going to go for, for an attack? Okay. I gotta... I gotta see if I can push it all the way to... Another earthquake. Okay. Let's see if it'll work. It did work pulled out his second shield so now he's basically defenseless more specifically his Kangaskhan is defenseless okay uh, Persian didn't get a chance to attack now it's all up to Machamp bringing down the Articuno now here is where we have to be very careful as to not switch in Rhyperior too early because Rhyperior is still weak to ice because ground is weak to ice and for some reason that I cannot fathom rock does not resist ice even though in my opinion it probably should okay now fighting type moves are neutral on an Articuno I mean we know that ice flying they cancel each other out however we're not going for the type advantages here we're just going for any damage at all okay we did something and I'm pretty sure he's going to take us out. Now, you have to be very careful. You see, we're doing a lot of damage to it, but it's also doing a lot of damage to us in return. Now, if, we, if it goes for a, for a fast attack, yeah. Yeah, we won. We won this. Hopefully. Let's see. Okay, Icy Wind. Lowers my attack. Ah! Just barely. Hmm. 
We got close this time, but we couldn't win. Hmm. I think I know what the problem was. Okay. Let, let's try this again. And if we don't succeed this time, it'll be the last time. Now, I'm going with my stronger Metagross for the time being. Oops. Did I forget to... Yeah, I did. Okay. Now, here's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to shield the second time before Machi before Metagross goes down. And I'm going to save that last shield for the Articuno. No wait, actually actually no. That, that, that wouldn't that wouldn't make a difference. Goes for another attack, please. No, no, just like I said, it's not going to make a difference. Like, at all. Okay, now, now of course we're going to take out the Kangaskhan with no problem. As a matter of fact, I think, well, I think because of my strategy, I think we're only going to do much worse this time around. Okay, let's just take out the King of Scon. Stupid ads. Yeah. Sadly, we did much worse than the previous one. I apologize. That was a clear mistake. Okay, but I mean, we're learning. It's a learning curve. The important part is that we found Giovanni and now we know that he's got an Articuno on his side. Now I'm assuming it changes depending on where you find Giovanni. It's gonna be it's gonna be either one of the legend, legendary birds, but for right now it, it is an Articuno. Okay, there's no point in challenging him again. Uh, I'm not even going to uh, use a Mega because of the futility of this battle. I'm just gonna uh, wait for the next time. But, yeah, like I said, I found Giovanni. Next step is going to be trying to beat him. Now, uh, yeah, that's it for today. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Hope I didn't waste too much of your time. And I'll see you guys probably tomorrow. Hopefully this time I'll beat Giovanni. I'm not going to try to battle him again. I'm going to you know, step back a little bit. Maybe try to tr train my Pokemon a little bit better and come back next time stronger than ever. So that's it for now. See you guys tomorrow. Bye bye. Okay, a little bit of a bonus today. I've been invited to a raid for Tornadus. Uh, don't have that Pokemon in the Pokedex yet. As a matter of fact, I never actually caught it in any other game. So uh, should be pretty exciting. Got six people here. Got a pretty good team on my side. And uh, some truly great company all around. Probably probably should be an easy battle. Let's start. also I kinda need a good flying type, so this will be very useful. Here it is.
course, a bunch of Zikrams, a Palkia even. But better, better go ahead and unleash a few wild charges while I still have the chance to. And there we go, that's it. Nice and easy. Just like I said. Could have, been, could have been faster if you had more people, but I don't really look at that right now. Okay, let's see if my first Tornadus in this game is shiny or not. Hmm, got even, got even a boosted uh, XP. That's great. And... Yeah, not shiny. See, the, uh, the thing is... It's kind of hard to tell if it's shiny or not with the sunglasses and with the sun glare on the uh, the screen, but um, that's why I was waiting for the um, um, for the sparkles. But it's not shiny, so let's just proceed with the second thing of just trying to catch it. Because it's not enough. Not enough to beat him in the battle, you also have to do the work and catch it later. And I will, don't you worry. I'm not gonna let this one run away from me. See when I'm done to 10 Pokeballs, sorry, 10 Premier Balls. That's when I start to bring out the Golden Raspberries. make an excellent throw on this guy that's upsetting ah, almost got so close pretty sure that if I will get that elusive excellent throw There it is. Pretty sure that if that now it should be a guaranteed capture, or maybe not. Okay. I'm really starting to think, or rather lose hope of me catching this thing. Dang it! Two poke, two premier balls left. If I get it in the last one. That'll be one hell of a story to tell. Ah, dang it. And there's the last one. Please give me just this once. Yes! Oh. Wow, sometimes these raid legendaries can be exhausting but yes now i finally have one i can finally start training one with rare candies i consider this a very successful day Whew. that's it for now everybody unless something else happens hello again everybody i really hope you enjoyed this video because I really enjoyed making it. So, if you like what you've seen here, 
please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more awesome content like this. So, until next time, guys, I'll see you guys next time.